In this video, I'll teach you how to change the owner of a project in either Project Online or Project Server. To change the owner of a project in either Project Online or Project Server, it requires two sets of steps. One set must be performed by the original owner of the project. The other set of steps has to be performed by the new owner of the project. In this video, I'll teach you how to do that. So let's get started. A few days ago, a portfolio manager named Tony Proctor created the AI-assisted risk management project. He's now ready to transfer ownership to me to make me the new project manager of this project. In order to transfer the ownership of a project to someone else to make them the project manager, the original project creator or current owner of the project will need to do the following. First, Click the name of the project to open the project in a detailed project view. Once the project is opened in a detailed project view, click either the Project Details link or the Project Information link at the top of the Quick Launch menu. Then click the Project tab to expand the project ribbon and click the Edit button to check out the Enterprise Project for editing. When the project is open for editing, scroll down to the Owner field. Please notice that since Tony Proctor created this project originally, he is currently the owner of the project. Therefore, what Tony will need to do is click the Browse button at the right end of the Owner field. In the Pick Resource dialog, select the name of the new owner who will become the project manager for the project, and then click the OK button. Notice that my name is now listed as the owner of the project. Then, click the Save button, scroll back to the top of the page, and watch the progress indicator in the upper right corner of the screen. When the Save job is completed successfully, click the Close button to close the Enterprise Project, and then in the Close dialog, be sure to leave the Check It In option selected and click the OK button. When the check-in process is completed, the system will return you to the Project Center page in PWA. After the transfer of project ownership has been completed, the new project manager will need to complete the following set of steps. First, open and check out the Enterprise Project. So in the Open dialog, double-click Show Me the List of All Projects, and then select the new project for which you are the owner. I'll go ahead and select the AI Assisted Risk Management Project. When the project is open, be sure and click the Check Out button. Then, right-click on the Duration column header and choose Insert Column on the shortcut menu. In the list of Available Fields, choose the Status Manager field and then widen the column as necessary. Please notice that Tony Proctor is currently designated as the status manager for every detailed task in the project. That's because he was the original project creator. What I need to do is to put my name in as the status manager for every task. 
to do this, the first thing I need to do is to click the Pick List button in the Status Manager cell for the first detailed task. Notice that Tony's name is on the list, but my name is on the list as well. So go ahead and select your own name in the first Status Manager cell. What you'll next need to do is to copy your name into every succeeding Status Manager cell. I want to give you two keyboard shortcuts that will dramatically speed up the process. Leave your name selected in the first Detailed Task cell in the Status Manager column. And then the first keyboard shortcut is this. Press and hold Shift and Control and then press the down arrow key. That will select every cell in that column all the way to the last task in the project. The second keyboard shortcut is to press Control D, which is the keyboard shortcut for Fill Down. As I scroll up through the project, notice that my name is now listed as the status manager for every task in this project. When finished, you can go ahead and right-click on the status manager column header and choose Hide Column on the shortcut menu. Then be sure to save and publish the latest changes to your project so that you are now officially the owner and status manager of your new enterprise project. Now you know the secrets to changing the owner of a project in either Project Online or Project Server. If you found this video helpful, I trust that you'll give it a like, you'll share it with friends and colleagues, I trust that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you do, click that notifications button. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.